Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Send Us Flowers. I'm your host, Liz. Sometimes people like to call me busy. And I am here today with a very special guest, Eric Kahn. This is so exciting. <laughs> um, I will tell you why it's so exciting in just a few moments, but um, say hi. How are I'm, you? I'm good. I'm great. Thank yeah? you so much for having me. Yeah, this, this is, is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah, it is yeah. awesome. And uh, so I always like to start these episodes sending flowers to someone. Mm. So who are you sending flowers to today? Uh, I think I'm going to send flowers to my mom because it was International Women's Day the other day and I yeah. didn't send her any. So that's good. I'm going to make up for it. Right okay, now. cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're sending... Yeah. Maybe you have to send her like real life flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Like, <laughs> I will, I will, for sure. <laughs> I will. Just like FYI. <laughs> maybe you do that. Um, but no, we'll, we'll like clip this to her and be like, hey. Yeah. I have virtual um, flowers too. Does your, is your mom like cool with all the videos and stuff that uh, you do? She, yeah, she's starting to like come around to it. Uh, she wasn't exactly, I guess, on board at first, but she yeah. was kind of like understanding of like, maybe it's this new technology that she doesn't yeah. kind of understand, you know what I mean? Or like the kids are going to do their thing kind of thing. She just didn't want me to get in trouble or like get arrested because right. I started it all in Texas. So she was just like, I think the big thing she told me to like kind of scare me was like, if you get arrested, I'm not going to help you. Like, this is your thing. And yeah. And I was like, okay. I okay, that's like, yeah. fair. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, that, that makes sense. You know what I mean? She's like, like I'm not going to come bail you out. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. But I'm She's like, like, I love you, but. Yeah, like, I'm going to support from like a distance. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, you know, I, I think, can ask for. Yeah, I think that that's fair. All right. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so before we really jump into things today, we're going to go over a few different items. I sent you like a laundry list of topics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you talk um, about them all. I'm done. But uh, yeah, you know, there's so much that I feel like you do that is mm. epic. Yeah, and so you, honestly, yeah. <laughs> like people want to know a like, you know, what are you doing? How mm. you got here? Um, I want to talk a little bit about also just like some of your interests. I know you're super into cars, mm. like streetwear and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so yeah. I want to see where you're at with that and Sweet. what's coming down the pipeline. Yeah, yeah, some and, things in store. Mm, yeah, <laughs> and so, um, yeah, and then just, like, talk weed and smoke some. Yeah, because for sure. that's all a part of this, too. So welcome to Send Us Flowers. Let's get into it. So back to uh, your mom and, you know, you living in Texas. Mm -hmm. So something super interesting about how we know each other mm -hmm. is um, I was working for Daily High Club, and you were or still are one of their yeah, influencers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it grew to a point where we did a collaboration glass. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. And that was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still so sick to see people post that. Yeah, yeah. People are still getting it too, like getting it weekly. And they're like, I just got a new bong. Like, like my that's first dope. piece. And I'm like, what the fuck? That's awesome. Like, it's my name on it and everything. Yeah. Like, it's awesome. Like, it's the no, coolest thing. It's the coolest thing. I, I loved that part of it. Like, it mm -hmm. was really cool being able to, like, create that with people. Yeah. And so, um, you know, I knew you lived in Texas, mm -hmm. but I, I didn't know. realize yeah. <laughs> that. Uh, I don't know if I really like got it right, until right. you put out that video. And I, rem I do remember you'd be like, you know, like, oh, yeah, you know, if you reference me, like, make sure you say like Arizona. Yeah, or, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's where I said I lived for sure. It's the place that's most similar to Texas. Like if you point the camera outside, mm -hmm. it's like hot and, you know, some trees and stuff. Yeah, and like, okay, yeah. Sure. <laughs> and yeah. so did your mom explicitly want you to kind of be low-key uh, about that no no that was all before my mom figured it out so i oh, was so she doing didn't it even know yeah yet. i was doing it for like two three okay. years before so that helped too the fact that it was already like established and i yeah. wasn't like in my room posting to nobody i was yeah. like no like people know who i am like it's cool yeah <laughs> <laughs> like i promise and um but yeah i had to like hide it um i didn't i guess i didn't have to but it was really just like I was kind of scared, I guess. Well, I was you were using... on your own if you were going to go to jail. Right, so, yeah. right. That too. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> and um, just Texas and everything scared me and everything online. Yeah. It was like the, one of the things that I was taught online, like growing up, like six or seven, it's like never use your like real name or where you live or anything like that. Always have an yeah. alias and everything. And now it's way different. Like people just, oh my God. it's just way different now. So, totally, right? Yeah. So I created that YouTube channel in that time when it was just like, I'm not going to lie about where I live and mm -hmm. you know, all this other stuff just yeah. to protect myself. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people, I guess I didn't explain that because I was just like, people were like, why would you lie about such a thing? <laughs> like, why would you lie to us? People were like offended. I, I know. Like, that I was like, no, no, yeah. no. I was like, no, like I'm lying to like, because they didn't understand Texas laws. They think mm -hmm. it's just whatever. But no, like if you get caught with an ounce of weed in Texas, seven grams of weed in Texas, an eighth, whatever, you're going to jail. So yeah. it's not Damn. anything to play with, you know? So I was just like, 
guys, it's for me, I promise. I wouldn't lie to you, you know what I mean? Because yeah. then they started to question me. They were like, if you're lying about this, you'll lie about this and that. And I'm like, no, no, right. no I promise, I promise. I'm well, like, your community is so tight. Yeah, it's awesome. Like, they they're love really you. Cool. Yeah, they're really They really do. Cool. Like, they're tight knit. They go to, yeah, they can, I guess, like, the biggest way to, like, I guess visualize that would be like conversion rates and stuff. Like when mm -hmm. I go to this platform or this one, I'm like, yo, my account got deleted ahead of this one. Like it's so strong and it's so dope. Like it's, it's just the best, you know, I can't really yeah. describe it. It's like, I fuck with it. No, really heavily. that's super sick. And so when you did have some of those people come out and be like, Oh, you lied to us. Yeah, blah, blah, yeah. Blah. Like what was your response to them? And even now, like how do you instill that trust with people? Uh, I just think that to be like upfront about it, I was like, it was, it wasn't like I was protecting my own ass. Like it was mm -hmm. dangerous. Cause that's the main thing. They just, they, they think I'm lying just to lie or something, but I was yeah. like, I was lying for like a good purpose. You know, you, yeah. that doesn't make any <laughs> sense, but I was trying to protect, you know, people, myself, my family and everything. Cause right. I won, like the first year I was still in my family's house. So I was like, mm. I got, I think I got like one or two promo packages shipped to that address. And I was like, I don't think I can do this. Like I got to move oh, out shit. and everything. Like who knows what happens? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was fine. <laughs> but it was like, wow, this is like, like if I, the last thing I want is to like get people who I personally like know and love involved right. in like any yeah. internet nonsense. So I was like, that makes sense. it's just protecting, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so and they understood like once I yeah. understood like DM people about it or commented back, they're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Like yeah. they just wanted like transparency more. And I think like that's the main thing with building trust is just like show your true like intentions, you know? It's yeah. Oh, for sure. And I mean, I feel like how you've built, you know, what you've built and what you're continuing to build is because it's you yeah, yeah like yeah. that like that's the thing like everyone especially with you know i'm gonna so date myself but with like <laughs> your generation right right it's different and it's different how people have online relationships with people mm -hmm. and it's not like a front right or it's right, not right, right. as curated i don't know like if i'm picking the right words here but it's a completely different experience yeah. and so you can show up fully as yourself right right 100%. and be rewarded for that yeah yeah you don't have to put on like yeah a lot of people like will go to like work or school or something mm -hmm. you have to like code switch or you have to like Dude, do a right? certain like yep. treat people a certain way and it's not like being fake it's just like kind of how like yeah. being social works you know what i yes. mean but it's a lot like when you're just in front of a camera it's like this is who i am like if you fuck with it then come watch if you don't yeah. then you don't have to <laughs> if you, know? you don't like, then like please yeah, leave yeah that's the best part mean comment <laughs> yeah 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 that's maybe the best part do, but <laughs> <laughs> is that people don't have to fuck with you i think that's the best part like when you're forced into an environment like that's where like hostility brews and all that like i don't really Dude, like this person yeah. but i have to be with them but like the internet's like you can build a community because people just like you you know what i mean they don't yes. have to be there but they choose to and it's it's really cool yeah that's such a that's such a cool way to look at that because mm -hmm. i feel like for a lot of people who are not as versed in that mm -hmm. don't understand it fully right and right. it's like oh well you still have to engage with this thing that you don't actually like <laughs> yeah, but then yeah. you have to have an opinion on it and it's like <laughs> ooh, i don't really want to though anymore yeah, yeah. and and so i do think too like a lot of people recognized you as well when you mm were in texas too right 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 yeah i i get more i recognize more in public in texas than i do here oh which that's, is like, that's wild yeah it's but i guess that's weird. your core right 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 so i uh, yeah i was explaining that the other day i was like it was kind of confusing but i think like maybe it's the culture over here like people are seeing like tiktokers and youtubers and you see like people on the sidewalk True. all the time whatever and it's like you don't really go up to them but texas it's like when are you gonna see someone that's pretty cool or like that you watch on YouTube? So like I get approached like all the time, like, oh let me get a picture, like, oh yeah. You. And I don't really get that out here. Even though I recognize that people like, you know, in like smoke shops or like events and stuff. Right. But it's more like it's cooler in Texas. I don't know. People are more like oh, Yeah. I I don't know. Whenever I'm in LA, like there's a few celebrities I've recognized right. or like influencers. Yeah, yeah. And then I you know, we work when see a lot of people right, too. Right. But I don't know, sometimes I feel really weird just being yeah. like hi yeah 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 it's like it definitely is like the culture out here is just different you know what I mean? yeah i feel so like weird. people don't want to be bugged right. almost yeah because they live like here that. yeah 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 yeah. like i'm like i don't know if i'd want people to just be like oh hi <laughs> all the time and yeah. which would be like a very different experience but like that is so wild that with cannabis mm -hmm. we do have to do these things and right. take those precautions like I was just telling you, I'm, I'm from the East Coast originally. Mm -hmm. I moved out here. And a lot of people to work in cannabis do have to move. Right. And 100%. so 
it's it's a completely different world and so like for me that's why at the beginning of all these episodes when i say or busy Mm -hmm. because that's the nickname i used when i started posting weed stuff right right like some people don't even know my name is liz yeah (laughs) that's the craziest part for surely for surely (laughs) like that's so nuts and so um you know i think a lot of people just when when you live in this world like look at the spread (laughs) <laughs> you can't do that in a lot of other places yeah or especially just like if there was nothing you can go 20 minutes and just get it all like that doesn't happen like it maybe can happen in another place but you have to source it yeah from like this dealer this guy yeah. this store this store and then you have like, to also wait yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah for surely it's not just so instant but yeah Calvary, yeah it's just, just like it's if awesome. you didn't like any of the options on this table right now we could just order more <laughs> right. and it would be here in like a few minutes but yeah say. like yeah, we're like right, right. Yeah, yeah like seriously someone could just walk it up and Mm -hmm. so i think that that's like a crazy situation and with that you moved yeah yeah i moved and uh i felt like i kind of had to you know the opportunity Mm -hmm. and everything's out here even though we were talking about before it started like the east coast scene is really starting to come up and buzz yeah i think this is kind of where it all started and that's where still a majority of like all the brands and pop and stuff are and the events and Mm -hmm. everything so i was like it made financial sense to me it just doesn't make sense because you're like you move from texas to california how does that make financial sense right if i'm flying out here the opposite right right (laughs) exactly exactly but i was flying out here two times a month getting airbnbs and i was like when you factor all that in and it's like I'd rather just live here. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, yeah. it's ridiculous. So, um, it's, it was like the best choice I've ever made to be yeah. honest with you to this. You know what I mean? It's only been a few months. Um, I've been here for, I think, nine months now. So, it's coming up on a year. Wow. Exciting Congratulations. stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but it's, it's awesome. It's definitely the best thing that I did for not only like the content and everything, but like mm-hmm. I felt it's just like a new scene. I was in Texas for so long. And it's yeah. Like, you need that new, everyone talks about it. You need that new like change of pace and change of scene. Right. Scenery. So is there a ce- like is there a scene in Texas? How um, what what's that like? A lot of if you're in a major city, like there's like four major cities, I guess five, like Austin, Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, maybe like El Paso. But mm-hmm. if you're in one of those cities, like you'll, it's pretty easy to find weed, find a plug. Everyone yeah. smokes. There's smoke shops a lot. Okay. You'll see a lot of um, CBD shops with the same green cross that are just getting ready for legalization. Right, so it's right. there. You it's, know it's, what it's, it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's getting like, there. A lot of people smoke mm-hmm. for sure. And um, even in the bigger cities, I know they do criminalize like really small amounts. Hmm. So I think Houston, like I think under an ounce, you won't go to jail. You'll get a fine, but it's starting to creep up. And so that those little laws enable people to like, you know, they just smoke together and stuff. Yeah. But there's nothing like over here. There's no smoke shows. There's no right. glass events. There's none of that. But it's it's cool. You know, it, it's you know, people will smoke. Yeah. <laughs> you, you'll meet people. You like, find your people. Right. A hundred percent. A lot of people will be like, yo, I'm moving to Texas, Eric. Like, do you think I'm gonna be able to find a plug or find a homie who smokes? And you'll be able to find one. Like there's, there's a lot of people who smoke. for sure. Okay. And so for someone who is, you know, in weed right now, or they mm-hmm. want to be more in weed, would yeah. you tell them to stay in Texas and Ooh. like work on that? Or yeah. would you say move somewhere else? That's tough. Especially because you know, the economy, you know what I mean? I just know, asking right? people to just get Dude. up and like, just go and, you know, find a job somewhere, which is tough. Um, I think the easiest remote way, work. remote work, a hundred percent. And a lot of brands are doing that. And I think mm-hmm. the easiest way, like I met someone, I was at, um, a little like seven, ten, or I was at a little Puffco gathering actually. Yeah. And then I met one of the guys who worked at Puffco and we started talking. I was like, how did you, you know, get into all this? And he was on the East Coast. He was in like a lot non legal state in the East Coast and he mm-hmm. said he joined their Discord server and just started like talking wow. and talking. And then they were like, Yo, you like you're putting in a lot of work. Yeah. Like, do you wanna like moderate this thing? And like, yo, you wanna get like flown out for these events, like do Damn. more. And I was like, That's like the coolest thing I've ever heard. So right? like what? all you have to do is like get your foot in somewhere. Like get Seriously. get involved somewhere like even if it's like a small like instagram page or like uh, a small brand like hey do you need help running so and so send them a dm like there's a lot of the instagrams like a powerful thing social media in general is a powerful oh, thing for sure like, everyone's just a dm away you know oh what it's I mean? crazy so see what's up you can yeah. connect so easily with people who have mutual interests like mm-hmm. i always have to remind myself especially like i don't know if you have and like i don't know if you have to do this too but we're so in it yeah yeah that sometimes i get really like I don't even know if burnt out is the word, mm-hmm. but like I have to remove myself to find different perspectives. Right, 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 right. And 100%. so for me, like, especially over the last few years, social media has been kind of heavy. Yeah. Like a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every yeah. now and then. For surely, for <laughs> surely. You mean heavy as in, how do you mean heavy? 
Just a, like the use or okay, the use, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. and also just a lot of people's sentiments. Okay, there's gotcha. a lot of um, anyone can say anything. Yeah, for sure. And I think that that can sometimes be a good thing, <laughs> and sometimes like I mean freedom of speech. But I'm like, mm, yeah, did for we sure. Need to? <laughs> it does seem like nowadays though a lot more people are like having are having to take responsibility for their actions on social media, Dude, which is a good yeah. thing. So like. And it's almost like you can't say anything anymore. But you used to right? be like, but it's like kind of getting like moderated, Dude, I guess, a in a weird, way. That's um, It's a weird line to walk. Right, for surely. Because it's like. Like you could say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but could. Do you want, you but could. do you want the yeah, consequences exactly, of it? Exactly, exactly. Because then other people have the freedom too to say. Whatever they want Their back. response right, to that. Right, 100%. And maybe that's not in agreement. Yeah, with yeah. What with was what you say it or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's. I don't know. I feel, but I don't know how much moderation there should be. But I think there should be some. Like, there's some fucking foul shit that's said. I internet, think that you know? some places should have moderation, right. and there's some places that, like, just what we were saying with different audiences, and mm-hmm. now the capability in social to have different audiences yeah. and do your thing. Like, I do think that there's certain spaces where people should maybe just be able to do their thing right. within, like within reason but that yeah, can get yeah. super subjective yeah of, yeah super muddy and stuff yeah but, maybe yeah. okay that's a great segue <laughs> for that kind of conversation yeah. i definitely need to smoke um Perfect. what do you want oh that's tough i haven't smoked any flour today i took a dab this morning okay. but i think i need a little flour perfect perfect let's do it all right do you do this yourself usually or how uh yeah i usually do it myself okay, here. I'm so low yeah. All right. So you can set that up. Some people are like, I have no idea how to use this. I was some people. <laughs> I was some people. Yeah. Dude, right? Much smoother than what what I'm about to do. <laughs> it's so you just you don't put like your mouth on it. Oh no, I guess you could, but I feel like I was your yeah, you water. Could, he was I did that. Yeah, you get the water <laughs> in your mouth, and it's like ah, I don't remember the water. <laughs> I'm honestly so glad you came on today, just simply. <laughs> the technique, to, the learning. To figure out the technique here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's um, very helpful for me personally. <laughs> you were like sucking in. <laughs> no, dude, it was not going to. I'm really glad you did that first as well, because that would have just been embarrassing. So I guess it's a little embarrassing now anyway, since I told on myself, but you live in your life. We're like just at the peak, or like just at the before the peak of cannabis. Like it's gonna get huge, you know. Like Dude. Half states have legalized. It's not even close to like. We're there. You know what I mean? Like it's awesome. And you can do it in phases. So like with you know all the di- like it, when I ask kind of that loaded question right. of do you want to be in California or Texas like. You can do both. Yeah, 100%. And you travel a lot. Right, yeah, like yeah. You I go have, back home and see family and everything. Yeah. It's, it's cool. It's important to me, for sure. And you've checked out other markets, too, right? Yeah, yeah. It's cool checking out other markets. I'm definitely trying to go out to the East Coast more. But, like, yeah, I've been checking out, like, you know, like Colorado mm-hmm. and then Washington. The Pacific Northwest is cool. It's the weather, really. It's like, eh. Yeah, perfect. Oh, you killed it. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, okay. I, I get, I understand now. Woo-hoo. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Okay. <laughs> All right. Figured it out. <coughs> that was fantastic. You know, that was much smoother than the last time I attempted that. It's better for sure. For all the audio listeners, <laughs> <laughs> we just used the Gravitron. Eric showed me how to use it correctly, so thank you. <laughs> of course, of course. I had an alternative. What are you here for? I had an alternative route of what I was doing, and it, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to see it. I didn't want to go first. I wanted to see how you were. You know, maybe <laughs> after. I don't know if we need that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we'll, let's go like a little more lit and then we can then i'll show you the other the other technique the other way yeah there's sure. just a different way just it's not really way. wrong yeah yeah it's just probably less of an experience mm, than what we just did mm, i feel that i feel that. <laughs> okay all right so let's jump back into it thanks everyone for uh tolerating our smoke break <laughs> we needed some flour had dabs earlier you had some dabs earlier mm -hmm. Um, but to segue, speaking of flower, you've got some pretty epic collaborations. Oh, yes, indeed. Indeed. I mean, you're like the collaboration king. I'm just trying to get my name out there, you know? Just you're doing it. Doing Good it. work. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's Thank happening. You. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, what has been one of your favorite collaborations so far? I think it's definitely this one, the one that we're staring the at. The El Blunto? Yes, the El Blunto. It's a good one. Yeah, I love this one. So the El Blunto people, um, I don't know how it came about. Maybe they hit me up, but really I was just trying to find like a way to put my name on some cannabis without having like $10 million for a license or whatever. So I was like, man, how can I do yeah, this? Yeah, it's like, a little pricey. Definitely. So I was like, man, how can I like, what are these cool brands? And I was talking to a couple and then at the end of the day, I just didn't like, like free rolls are lazy. You know what I mean? It's an afterthought with most brands. Dude. It's like they already make their money on their flour or their whatever. And they're this. Good. And it's like, yeah, it's never good. And like it's like. Like the quality control. I'm sorry, pre roll people. <laughs> but like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And this was the one of the brands that I found that was like strictly pre-rolls type thing yeah. you know what i mean like a lot of like i said brands they think of it as an afterthought because they make all their money elsewhere and they're mm -hmm. like might as well squeeze our profit margins a little bit you know squeeze into right. pre rolls because they're they're handy i love pre-rolls you know what i mean if they're done right i can understand why you just want to plop it out and smoke yeah, it that's for amazing sure. that's amazing yeah. i don't want to roll my own sometimes when they're good they're good yeah exactly and this was one of the brands that i was like oh they're they're good like oh they're, yeah. yeah i was like they're good oh yeah and um so the product was already good, and then I met the team behind him, and that was already, like, that's just solidified it. You know, when you have, mm -hmm. like, a face behind it, and you're like, oh, these people are awesome. Like, right. this is who I want to work with. Where are they stuff. based out of? Uh, they're based out of here. Really? So, yeah, they source their flower pretty much up and down. Like, do, they do all the collaborations um, with all the brands up and down the state, but they're okay. based out of here, L.A. Yeah, they're huh. awesome. Okay, and then, so... Can we smoke it? Of course. Are of we course. allowed no, to smoke it? Yes, yes, yes. So okay, this is... Gotcha. So this is our second one that we came out with. So our first one, they just wanted to do like a little run. Um, they want to see like, you know, how, how cool are you, Eric? On how many, you know what I mean? How, how yeah. well will your thing will sell in the stores and stuff? And then How, how well <laughs> will you sell? <laughs> pretty much. So we did that trial run and then they're like, all right, let's get another one. Yeah. Sure. So the second one I had a little bit more control over. So we had um, my favorite strain in here, which is GMO. And then, and apart from the full flower that they put in here, because they do nugs, so a lot of other ones, uh, not enough of other uh, pre rolls are just really shitty ground up flour, like it's the like leftovers, shake. the trim, the shake. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And then they just stuff it in there with a machine, and they make a thousand oh at a time. Oh my god! Yeah, dude. Garbage. But these are all pre roll or hand rolled one by one, and um, they're all full like bud. If you can see the end, wow. of I'm sure you've seen the other one. Yeah. Before, oh yeah. Yeah. This is, it's so cool how you can this see the lumps and every single one's different. Ooh, like, and it says Anova on yeah, it. Yeah, it says Anova. So the first one's had my face on it, and I was like, "This is dope." I would blow my face. Yeah, on it. okay, you know that's I mean? pretty it's, cool. It's sold in the display. Yeah. Like, I can see my face. But then um, Anova is my brand that I built in the past like year, and that I've been trying to just really make you know my thing and my baby. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to separate my face from the brand, so I just want Anova to be its own thing, right? I want people to rock with Anova. Yeah. That might not who runs it, and might not know who runs mm -hmm. it or like who's behind it. They just like what we put out. So this was like my first step into that with like no face, no nothing, just the brand name, Anova and Oblento. And there's some Damn, GMO so ice water hash in there. But yeah, so instead of just flour, there's both flour and ice water hash in these, which is amazing. One of the few pre-rolls that I know does hash in their stuff. And I was like, you gotta, we gotta do one of those. And it's premium hash too. And it burns like super smoothly, right? Yeah, super smoothly, super slow. Um, it's not a real blunt. If anyone's talking, I know I, I'm not a too big of a fan of blunts, but it's like a 
twice, three times baked Dope. paper. And no tobacco, no nicotine, none of that nonsense interfering with it. It's just, it smokes like a blunt, if that makes sense. You know, mm-hmm. some people like that thicker smoke. And I honestly do, too, yeah. you know what I mean? So I was like, that's perfect. It's not a hemp wrap, but it's like a two, three times baked paper. And it's amazing. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I've tried the Papa and Barkley. Oh, man. Oh, do you man. know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Anything they put out is fire. And then they did the collab, and I was like, nah, I bought this is ridiculous. so many of those <laughs> at Hall of Flowers. Yeah. They were like, they had some crazy pricing on it. Ooh, yeah. The Oh, at the event. That's my favorite. And they were the like, events and you're like, no way. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, I left. I don't know if I can actually tell this story, like, legally. Yeah. I'm going to tell it to you. I might cut it. Okay, okay. But I- <laughs> <laughs> so, I went to Hall of Flowers. Mm-hmm. Wait, I thought you were going to go to Hall of Flowers. I was going to, and then, I don't know what happened. Some bullshit happened, and then it was like, <laughs> something got lined up wrong, and I was like, I think I lined it up on the wrong weekend. And I okay. was like, I got a text, and they're like, hey, bro, what time are you going to be here today? And I was like, <laughs> I was like out of town and I was like, oh, bro. Yeah, like, it was Dude, way up north like, too. Like, yeah, yeah, it was super far. And I, I was got like, those <sighs> cities confused with like one same, that's a very same. similar name. Yeah, near I thought it was going to be like that near, was like an hour or two away. 100% same. So I was like, oh, okay, nice. Like, shit, maybe oh, I can shit. still make it. Oh, my goodness, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, maybe I can still make it. And it's like, oh, it's like a seven hour drive. Maybe not today. <laughs> Dude, my friend texted me and was like, so when are you getting your flights? Oh. And I was like, why would we get flights? Right? I was like, it's not that Can't far. Can't we just rent a car? <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> he was like, why would we do that? It's like above San Francisco. I was shocked. I had uh, no yeah. clue. I was convinced it was like. Yeah, you hear all these cities like San, Santa, Santa, it all just fucking yeah, together. Yeah, I was... Like, oh, that's like an hour away probably. I was lost on it. But so I got a ton of those from Hall of Flowers. But you leave Hall of Flowers with a fuckload of stuff. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. And I had like a lot of things, but of a legal weight. Yeah, 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 yeah. And... <laughs> I get on this flight and go to pick up my bags. Oh, you checked your bags? I checked my bags. Oh, (laughs) shit. And they weren't there. Oh. And so, like, in that moment, I was really weighing what to do. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. Oh, my goodness. And I was like, I could leave. I could just leave. <laughs> if I could just get new clothes, get a new bag, it'll be all right. Like, fuck it. I was like, was there, I have my phone, like, I have my wallet. Yeah, yeah. You got like, honestly, What's not anything, like, super irreplaceable. Right, right. And so I, uh, I went to the woman, and I was like, hey, <laughs> where's these bags? Yeah. And she was like, oh, they're just on the next flight. And so oh, I'm like sitting there anxiously, like for the next like 35 minutes, oh, being like, waiting, Holy see if you're gonna shit. go to jail. Because like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also my mom would not bail me out. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like she'd she, be like, why the fuck did you take that on? The yeah, plane? she'd be like, you're a fucking dumbass. That's literally exactly what my mom mm-hmm. would say. I'd be like, mom, I thought I could get away with it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so it it did end up uh working out for the wow, most part Oh, nice nice but the handoff was nothing sketchy or nothing it was just like a just on the runway for the next one i ran the fuck out of that airport oh man i, I bet. was like i was like do, 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 do. damn that's crazy <laughs> there, there was nothing like search or nothing you can like you know sometimes they go through the bags or something and checked you so, couldn't tell if anything was missing i couldn't tell i was not like even really sneaky about it <laughs> just like on top <laughs> yeah that's what I like i was sometimes. like if they're gonna find it they're gonna find true, it you know what i true. mean like they were, don't make it hard for them there was like so much stuff <laughs> that like it was like you couldn't oh my goodness yeah I like see some i halls. put like a sweatshirt over it <laughs> yeah those halls are major because i see people that post like the hall of flowers Dude, like post hall and it's like that. a full bed frame and i'm like bruh that's like <laughs> see, i feel like that's more incriminating than my story yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like well there's no visual evidence i don't know i made <laughs> true, it up true it yeah it could always be a story 
wink wink but um no yeah that's crazy that people post that and i get it and there's like sick shit and i definitely it's cool it looks cool I'm yeah it looks I'm sick like, Dee. i just have makes like, you like whoa do you like posting like kind of excess content uh i can't anymore but i did it's it's cool because sometimes i'm like i'm on the other side because i like i just really think about it like what would someone like me want to see like i just yeah. like smoking a lot of weed and sometimes you see like fucking a hundred packs and it's lit like you're like what <laughs> like this is awesome like that's so cool um but i don't know about overconsumption. that's the thing that i don't really fuck with that much but i do fuck with um just like showing a lot you know what i mean it just looks cool there are like a lot of bags or like a lot of something but yeah overconsumption is when it just like eh, i don't know maybe it's taking it in the wrong like direction you know if we're trying to make weed this completely if we're trying to make weed like cigarettes, we can't be like taking three gram dabs and like passing it yeah. out. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's probably not super ideal <laughs> <laughs> for the for the movement. Yeah, a hundred percent. But it is cool to see. It is cool to see. It's funny mm-hmm. to see. But if I'm trying to play like you know this advocation, you know what I mean? It's not. The best yeah. Thing. What is that like transitioning from, you know, the three gram dab content yeah. to more advocacy content right right i never really did like too crazy big of like consumption and stuff it was mm-hmm. really i feel like i built what I, what people say they always like care of me from is like the educational stuff yeah but i would always be like especially nowadays with like the delta eight and delta mm-hmm. 10 and all that shit and like I, a lot of people are like yo i found you from this and back right. in the day it was all the cart stuff like 2016 yeah. 2017 i was just making hella videos on carts people were trying to figure out everything mm-hmm. about them because they were just hitting the market and everything so i think that's where i made my name but like transitioning into this like advocacy thing from that just like entertainment to like right kind of both it's uh it's fun like it just I think there's just so many aspects of weed. It's not just like, I smoke weed and that's it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, I'm advocating for the legalization yeah. of a beautiful medicinal plant around the country. You know what I mean? Like that's, it just sounds cooler. And it feels like it's, feels like you're doing more, you know? Even mm-hmm. though like I get DMs and they're like, hey bro, like, you know, I watch your videos and they, they help me feel better. They make my day better. And I love those. That's yeah, like that's the dope. Best. That's the absolute best. But it's also cool to like know that maybe I have like an indirect hand and like, helping someone get more better access to their medication you know right I mean, or something like that so that's like yeah. a more like hands-on feel you know so that's cool it, it's cool just everything about weed is just i love it like i feel like i'm in the right space you know what i mean yeah like with the right people and everything it's like i it's, do it's, it's the place yeah yeah i understand that for sure nice weed is weed is great <laughs> weed is great weed <laughs> is the stuff for sure and so um when it comes to that education, because your your videos are super well produced, mm-hmm. like Thank all you. of Thank your you. production is super crisp. The yeah, way you. you do like different shots and stuff, it's like it's really cool, mm-hmm. and it is super informative, but in a way that's not also boring, you just I feel yeah. Like. yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's the main thing. Yeah, boring. A, yeah, 100%. yeah, and. and um, you that's, play video games? Yeah, 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 yeah. On uh, Twitch, that's what that's what I started my YouTube career on. So I started making YouTube videos in middle school, and uh, I really wanted to be a uh, pro gamer. I oh, wanted to shit. be a professional video game player because I was sick at Call of Duty. Like, nasty. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was playing online and, like, tournaments and stuff and like really trying to like make my name in, in video games so i was like making a youtube channel i was like hey guys i'm super sick of video games like watch my gameplay and everything and i uh, was sorry were you guys not no you're good. Yeah, it from I, I was also just <laughs> admiring it <laughs> sorry about that one um, but yeah no, it was just good. like i built like a few thousand subscribers off that which is kind of tough at the time because it was like a super saturated like everyone wanted to be like a gaming youtuber that's when mm-hmm. pewdiepie was like he still is the shit but that was when he was like the shit yeah you know what wow I mean? that's a throwback yeah for sure so i was just trying to catch in and i'm like yo i love making videos and playing video games mm-hmm. and then i did that for like middle school and then to like junior year of high school the end of that and then i was just like man i don't really and I think the dream is dead. Like, I'm going to college soon. I'm like, no! I didn't really want to give up on it. I was yeah. like, maybe it's just not for me. Maybe I can pivot somehow. And I was like, I still like making YouTube videos, but I don't really do much. Like, I already stopped playing sports at that time at two mm-hmm. and everything. And I was like, just gonna be going to college, like smoking weed with my friends. I'm like, fuck it, let's record that. So I got a camera. And then I just like, every single time me and the homies would smoke or sesh, I would just record it. We would just chill and make a hot box video. Or like, I would get... um 
like some subscription boxes and buy them and like mm-hmm. unbox them or whatever yeah. just like try to make content you know and then after like a year of making that it finally just caught on and i was like let's go but it did start with video games yeah to your original shit and i still do play video games but it's not like that love like i once had you know i don't mm-hmm. love video games like i love weed That's really it. yeah yeah so would you if you could go professional or join like one of these oh. gaming houses or something that would be sick <laughs> i would for come sure. on like I would that would sure. be pretty tight yeah i would 100 percent at least for like a little bit, just to okay. Like we're putting it out there. Dream. Any team that wants to sign me, you know, <laughs> if, <laughs> I'm still sick. I still got the skills. Trust me. Yeah, <laughs> he, you live stream all the time. Yeah, yeah, I live stream. I try to every day. Every mm-hmm. single day I'm in town, I stream, and then sometimes I'm out of town, and I try to set up the stream, but it's not a sick, you know. I don't yeah. Have all the camera angles and everything, but it's cool. I love live streaming. It's like the easiest, fastest way to get interaction from your fans and your homies and everything yeah. so like a youtube video is cool but i have to edit in all of this and mm-hmm. then i have to release it and then i have to wait for the fans to watch the whole video and then we're not all on the same page like they're commenting yeah. about different stuff uh-huh. but a live stream is like we're all on the same page we're all smoking at the same time we're all talking about like a similar subject or whatever they're asking me questions and i can answer it or like it's just like a really cool like tight-knit community thing i think that's one of the main things that i've um used to build that community that you were talking about earlier right. is like just live streaming so often like no like having people see who i am when the camera's off in a way because live streaming you just there's no you can't be fake for that long i mean maybe you can play right. a character or right. something but like it's it's tough to just really be fake for that long if you're gonna live stream like everyone who live streams consistently is pretty genuine like i, mm-hmm. I fuck with them when, when they think what they portray and i feel like everyone feels that too through the camera so live right streaming, great way if you want to just connect with people and on the other way like i love watching live streams or like when i comment on a stream and people are like oh shit eric Khan. i'm like yeah what the fuck is good like that yeah like, was people good. get super hyped um, up in the comments awesome. yeah it's cool yeah have you already live streamed today i have not i stopped doing daily sh- or uh, streams in the morning because mm-hmm. i wasn't getting enough done to be honest really like, you know, i get to say oh hi streams. Super lit. yeah the streams <laughs> are like the streams are like where we get lit so it's like an hour two hours and we're just mm-hmm. chilling smoking whatever i have usually yeah. i'll bring on like a new product or a new whatever and we'll open it and just like chill um but yeah i stopped having to do them in the mornings because i would right. take like a fucking two hour nap after everyone and look at my wa- like look at my watch at the time and be like oh shit it's 2 p.m like i had <laughs> so much shit to do today like this is fucked up <laughs> it's so bad and yeah you look at your phone okay how many notifications do you have on your that's phone that's right now i don't want to think about it i don't want to think about it <clears throat> that's the another thing because i would be streaming and then i'd get like phone calls and i'd be like oh and I'd get like a text message and then an email and I'd be like, fuck, I got so much stuff to do right now. And I would just be like, fuck it. And I would just be, keep getting high yeah. for like the next hour. And I'd be like, oh, I have all this stuff to worry about now. Like, that's crazy. Shouldn't that's, have streamed. That so <laughs> but it's so fun. Funny. Like streaming is so fun. And it's just, you're just chilling, you know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Of course, of course. This is a very, very smooth smoking experience it's, yeah yeah the glass like, tip i think is makes it, the glass tip makes it a i really like how it too. hits yeah, exactly i love it it's just the guy uh, yeah they just do it so well it's the hand roll it's the glass tip i was gonna say it's one thing and one thing but it's really just all of it combined you know it's like a well-oiled machine but the glass tip does make a huge difference i Ooh. love that Ooh, yeah and then you get to the <laughs> end you get to the end and it starts getting woo starts really hitting you that was uh no that's that's just fantastic <clears throat> so <clears throat> do you have any other collaborations coming up like this? Um, so I recently partnered with Pine Park to start doing a lot of their content Ooh. and everything. And okay. Now, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually gave me, um, I'm a small owner now in Pine Park, which is Really? Awesome. Yeah, Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's like the coolest thing. I didn't realize Dude, how cool it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. huge. Wait, thank wait. You, so you. who... For people who don't know, what is Pine Park? Okay, so Pine Park. So this is going back to like the gaming thing. So Optic Gaming, I'm sure if you watch video games, it's like one of the biggest gaming organizations in Mm -hmm. the world. And it was started by this guy named Hector, or he goes by Hex. And he built this team up, and it was like a big competitive Call of Duty team. It was the biggest Call of Duty team easily by fans. And it was really the only team, it was really the only like organization that was like making content and having these like 
characters and that's why they built this huge cult following because people knew the team they knew Dude, the owner and they okay. knew everything and yeah. i was like i was one of those fans i was like this is sick like i want right. to be i want to be one of these guys on the team or i want to like know yeah. this guy i want to like i wasn't even smoking weed then i just wanted to be like a part of this like optic gaming or anything really and then that uh same guy hex he started a weed company called pine park and he started that like i don't know i don't know how when he started it but like within the past year for sure it's really recent okay and um through like just the weed network he was looking for people to like you know work with and um i met him through my homie max and michael through um union electric which are great okay people. Yeah, 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 yeah 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 so they're the homies for sure so they hooked us up and Dude. um yeah it's just like a small world kind of thing and now i was like shaking hands and smoking with a homie who right. i was watching for years on camera when i was like 10 years ago i was like 13 14 you That's know what i mean so just cool. trying to do it yeah. so it's like it's like a dream come true, like a surreal moment almost. And then um, just the fact to work with them and then the fact that they offer me like a tiny little, you know what I mean, cut of the company and now we're mm -hmm. going to build it together. It's just like, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm kind of speechless about it. I'm really excited about it. It's really cool. So shout out to Pine Park. Thank you. Shout dude. out to Hex, you know what I mean? I know, I know. It's so cool. It's so cool, dude. I wasn't really like, I've just been, you know how sometimes they say like when you're just grinding and grinding, and then you're like, you get to like the little top of the mountain, then you look back and you're like, oh shit. Like, yeah. I didn't realize how much I've done. Like, that's kind of how I've been for the past like few years, just like head down, just work, like collaborate. And then now I see like the spread and I'm like, oh, I got this. Like, I got the fucking, you know I mean? I got the Nova up and running. I should like, have had Pine your bong here, honestly. No, it's cool. It's, I should have brought it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, we're even then. On yeah, that. yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, we don't have a shortage, but like still. <laughs> <laughs> for surely. Um, no, dude, that's super sick. And so what are you going to be doing there content wise then? I know they have like a podcast yeah. and so are you, but you're so good with video too. Right, right. So they want to start like just like mini series, like taste tests oh, and like everything dude, that's park sick. and like, you okay. know, just like kind of how they built up optic and how they built up that like faces behind the brand and, you know, just like building this team around it. And it's mm -hmm. like, it's like a not family friendly that's weird but like a family homey environment you i know, what I know I mean? what you mean right yeah right, yeah yeah right. so I, it's I, like, yeah i think that's what they're trying to build and i'm completely on board with it it's awesome i'm down and it, and it helps that their flowers dope too at a, at a good price it's all yeah. sourced reasonably so it's not a uh, the most insane top shelf but it's not priced like it either so it's amazing it's a great great value i'd say especially okay. with the prices weed are at right now what in the world Fuck that. <laughs> the market here is so crazy. Sixty, seventy dollar eights. What is what happening? What in the world? That's a twenty dollar gram. Dude, no, in the fucking. That's crazy. That's I the can't craziest do thing. Do it. Yeah, no. Like no. I, there's okay. So I mean, you get gifted like a, a bunch of I stuff for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, amount, for sure. And also, I mean, I definitely like everyone. I feel like has like a homie hookup somewhere. Right, right, right. <laughs> For sure, for sure. But or honestly, with um, just like real quick, instead of doing like like some brand deals, I'll be like, you know what? Fuck, check. Like, just give me a lot of weed. Like, yeah. <laughs> and like, I'm I chilling. Like, I feel <laughs> that. I do feel that because right. I'm like, it's kind of equivalent. Yeah, if yeah. Not more if not more, I'm like, I'm chilling for sure. Like, you know what? We got rent paid, but I'm kind of struggling on the weed, so we're all right. With no, it. exactly. <laughs> Especially if it's good. No, yeah. it has to be like good stuff. Oh, That's yeah, that when too. I'm like, hundred yeah, percent. No, for sure. That's when I'm like, hey, yeah. I'll do By whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like if you just want to pay me in weed, that'd be great. Yeah. Just so with, out there. um, sorry, going back to Pine Park real quick. Are NFTs potentially uh, in the I'm future? I'm not sure. For that? I'm not sure yet. Uh, it's not that I can't like tell you. I just have no idea. To be okay. Honest. So yeah, yeah, okay. I have no idea. If I if I knew, I would definitely say it. Mm -hmm. But I am not sure yet. I've definitely. I think anything is gonna implement. I think everything is gonna implement NFT soon. So it sure will. You know. I and feel just, like, like that if would line company, up kind of nice. Yeah, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I fuck with NFTs very heavily. It's like a very. It seems like it's a taboo thing nowadays. It's crazy. It is so weird it because weird. it has all happened in such a like. In the past year. Like this vacuum of time. I right. feel like we've lived like a decade. Yeah. It's in literally like insane. In the crypto world. A hundred percent. I created, I think I said, <laughs> I created my OpenSea a year ago. It says March 2021. Yeah. And I look at it, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I'm like, no way. So how many NFTs do you own? Uh, I don't know, like, like 20 or something, but they're mm -hmm. not all like blue chips. I don't think I have a single blue chip. They're Dude, all like just there's like... blue chip NFTs. What is that? <laughs> it's like... 
Like, do you know how long it takes for something to become a blue chip stock? In, in a few months, they like, did it. They did it here. Is? They did it here in a few months. They did it here in a few months. Crazy. Like that is so nuts. I That's insane. I don't know. I mean, I can't even choose which one is like the craziest project I've seen. Yeah. I think that like I've seen it all. And then yeah. I'm, and then something happens where I'm like, I haven't though. Yeah, and for real. here we it's are. Just, like, we're so early in it, you know, and I mean, we're still going to keep seeing some crazy shit. Okay. Would you make an NFT? Yes, for sure. Yeah. I just don't know in what way I would implement it. Cause I want to mm -hmm. make a Nova NFTs at one point, but I just want to see what they're going to be in the next couple of years. You know what I mean? I don't want to jump the gun too early. I want to like develop out a really cool, fresh idea. Right. Because it's cool. It, it really helps to be early, but I feel like it really helps to come out with like a solid plan too, you know? Because mm -hmm. sometimes you can be early and just like, that's what a lot of these projects are. Like they're just early. They're mil they're milking the space out of it's, all of it. It's like, yeah. it's a bunch of garbage, but it's, they're just early. So they can just fucking make a few million off nothing. Dude, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. so insane. It it's, doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any <laughs> sense. I've been trying to like make sense of it and yeah. it's been tough. Yeah. There, I mean, I, so how, how long have you been in crypto for? I've known what like Ethereum and Bitcoin were for a while. Cause mm -hmm. I remember I bought fake IDs when I was eight, I was 19 <laughs> and I bought it with Bitcoin. I bought it with fucking Bitcoin. So I, Dude, Definitely. what is that? Like, how is that, like, life? Think, like, yeah, what did you... Wanna, I don't want to think about that. That's a it's crazy like a... sentence. <laughs> it could be, like, a t-shirt. Like, right? I bought a fake ID with Bitcoin. God, like, back in the day, it was fuck? probably, like... <laughs> it's probably, like, a $10,000 fucking ID at this point or something. I don't have it anymore. But... Dude, it's, like, a $30,000 no, ID. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. That is horrible. Yeah, but I guess it was worth it at the time. Fuck it. Yeah. Okay. It's just like, oh yeah, but I've been in the crypto for like, I guess a few years, but I never really traded it. To this day, I don't trade it because I know a lot of people like no. actively up and down, like they grab, I can't do all that. I just sure. sit. Yeah. I just sit. I, I research so what's cool. Inducing. Yeah. hundred like, percent. Yeah. 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 I follow a lot of people on like crypto Twitter or whatever, and they're stressed Same. the fuck out. Like, they're I actually, tweaking out and I'm like, I had to oh. unfollow a bunch of people yeah. or just mute them because I'm like, this isn't the vibe. Yeah. Like, they're crazy, like, bro. They're so like <laughs> tight knit and up. Like, I don't even can't even describe what crypto Twitter is, but sometimes yeah. it's like, it's a vacuum. Yeah, it's really, yeah, it's that's the best way to do it. It's like a big totally echo chamber. What? Yeah, and they just describe, and you think you're in like the biggest thing when this project, but you're like, wait, like, what? <laughs> this is a fucking mess. Like, what am I this really? This is a fucking <laughs> mess. <laughs> what am I really putting my money into right now? There is some pretty legit projects. I talked to the um, Crypto Canna Club people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's and a lot I, of cannabis ones coming out. It's cool. I like their team. Yeah. They're super nice, um, very knowledgeable, mm -hmm. and they created the project kind of through, like, just their own interests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, necessity and stuff. Right, right. And they're, and a lot of uh, projects are going into gaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I feel like NFTs and gaming are, like, they're right there. They're, like, they're, they're. I feel right like the future there. was, like, made for you. <laughs> 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 maybe maybe yeah i'm excited to see but uh, yeah i feel like I, that's why i understand nft so much i guess mm -hmm. like i don't really get the hate because i feel like i've been interacting with nfts like for my whole gaming career and then yeah. they're just called something different now but then they have this like huge stigma and people are like crypto is the worst and nfts are the worst and then like they call you crypto bros and yeah. like, crypto bros taking l's is like the funniest twitter account <laughs> but, i stopped talking about crypto on Instagram because it was, uh, it's, I don't know. People said like weird things. Bro. Yeah. They get like, they assume stuff about you or say you're giving out scams or yeah. that's a, I, I guess a lot of it is scams though. So I can't be mad. I know there's so that. many. Like scams. I can't even be fucking, I'm like, damn, you're kind of right. Like a lot right? of this shit is scams. Yeah. So like, I can't get mad at you for that, but like, I just see like at the potential, I guess like right now, 90% of it's scams, maybe more, but I just like, what it offers i just love you, nfts and what they offer and what they yeah. can offer and i think it's going to be dope and i think especially like you just got to follow i don't know sometimes you got to follow the money even the corporations aren't always right and you know you can say what For you sure. want about capitalism and all this stuff but like if every but, like, single we're kind of in it yeah we're in it you know what and i mean so and then, I'm like, like if, 
I'll yeah, play the game. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I'm like, I'm like, why, why wouldn't I join in on this nonsense? So it's like, the way I see it, like I'm seeing all these companies get into NFTs or like build metaverse teams or build crypto teams and any, and everything. And it's like every company worth over a billion dollars is doing it. So it's like mm-hmm. you just gotta think, and it's like, are all of them wrong? Like you can think your favorite influencer is wrong, hundred percent. You can think your favorite whatever person should. And they crypto. might be. Yeah, and they might be a hundred percent. But it's like the movement is is a hundred percent there. Like all of crypto's here to stay for sure like not all of it but like crypto is here to stay nfts are here to be implemented into our daily lives to make things easier for Mm -hmm. sure like it's just yeah you just gotta accept it you know it's just it's coming yeah it's coming i agree i think so too all right um you could do nfts of cars or bongs yeah 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 yeah. there's so many different things you could do it with literally anything yeah for sure limited drop of nfts 50 and you get a bong sent to your house with it or maybe it's like a bong subscription you can team up with like one of these companies you'd be like Mm -hmm. hey you get a bong sent to your doorstep once a month you know it's like exactly (laughs) dude (laughs) yeah 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 yeah. and it's just holding the nft and it's like oh i don't want these bongs anymore i have enough let me sell this pass to my friend Mm -hmm. now your friend gets bongs every single month yeah and that was easy and that's all it requires you know what i mean it's just gonna make things easier that's that's the main thing like all tech and, and all technologies are supposed to make your life like more convenient and easier. Mm-hmm. And as it stands right now, I don't think it really does. Like you gotta have a wallet, you gotta like convert your money to ETH and then do this and like yeah, sign a contract. It's definitely not it's, user friendly. It's not really the most user friendly thing right now. So I understand why people are, you know, they hate on it right now. And it, it makes sense. Like they're not unjustified gripes, you know. But I just see yeah. I see where it's going and I'm just very excited for it. Okay. <laughs> so what is like the coolest thing you think can come from nfts for cannabis Ooh, for cannabis mm-hmm. i think that if you want to get involved into cannabis some way it's going to be a super easy way to get into it Ooh, that so, is such a good point yeah so a cool thing about nfts that you can do that i don't think a lot of people are doing right now is that you can offer say like ownership in something so let's mm-hmm. say if i want to split a nova up into 10 shares Ooh. and i say it's worth a million dollars and each nft is a hundred thousand dollars yeah you now own 10 percent of a nova from owning that nft you get 10 percent of every single thing that a nova makes every single month or it doesn't have to be a nova it's like any cannabis brand so like right. you, own, you own a percentage of a cannabis brand now cool you're in it like you probably get some connects that way you know this person from this company that way yeah. you know what i mean and hey you don't want that like ownership of the company anymore you can just sell it to someone else and now someone else owns that ownership of the company and you made your money back and you're good you you got in and out you know what i mean and i think that's a really okay cool, that's a really cool way that they're gonna do it for sure yeah it's gonna be that cool is, dude, it's gonna be is, cool. i'm like mind blown right now yeah see that's like that's one of the coolest parts because it's no one really knows about that aspect or like what's possible with all mm-hmm. these smart contracts and everything and it's like it's just going to be, life's going to be easier. Like, instead of selling a car and doing, have all this paperwork, I'm like, hey, you want my car? I'm going to transfer my NFT to you. And then now you own my car. Yo, that would and also like, be crazy. Yeah, yeah. And you, so you have a bunch of really cool, you, because, okay, I'm not as versed in mm-hmm. the car world. Right. But the cars you drive are very cool. I love cars. And people yeah, yeah, love, love the cars, cars that you post. Yeah, And yeah, anytime yeah. you post one, anything, I'm like, mm-hmm. that looks sick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. I really like cars. I don't know mm-hmm. where that comes from. So um, what are you driving now? It's a C63 Mercedes. Mm-hmm. It is a beauty. I okay. It drives yeah. very nicely. It drives very nice. I'm getting uh, it wrapped this weekend, actually. Ooh. Yeah. What is it? Okay. So what's yeah, it going to yeah. look like? So it's black now. It's like mm-hmm. all blacked out, black rims, everything. We're keeping the black rims. We're going to wrap it a dark purple. Ooh. Oh, it's going to be so nice. So it's okay, going to be. Okay. That's going <laughs> to look. Is it going to be like, so it's going to be matte? It's going to be metallic. So it's going to be, Ooh, it's going to look okay. how it looks like. It's going to look like paint. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. going to shine and shimmer. But then at nighttime, it's going to look almost black. Like, you know, it's okay, going to have like a... Okay, that's super sick. Yeah. It's kind of like daytime, a Batmobile. Yeah. Okay, and in daytime, that's pretty it's going to be like a really dark... I don't know if there's a purple that's dark enough for it in this room. I'm trying to think. Right. But that's kind of like maybe close. Okay. If it was a couple of shades darker, you know? But it's going to be like that. How it's like in some lights, it's white. And then like when it's darker, it's a little dark. It's going to look sick. And then mm-hmm. we're doing... um tiny yellow accents Ooh, oh, so that's excited. gonna look so, so dope. yeah i'm so excited dude so i'm going out of town this weekend to see my family again and then hopefully nice. by the time i'm back it's gonna be done and i'm gonna be hyped i'm gonna be hyped 
it's gonna be lit. Okay, that's really, really exciting. I and know. so how often do you get a different car or do you like modify um, it or is it kind of a mix? Eh, I haven't had that many cars in my life, but I feel like now I just wanna, cause I started the car channel. Mm -hmm. um, I started a car YouTube channel and I was just really tired of like the age restrictions and demonetization yeah. and all that shit. And I was like, I just really like growing. Like, I don't know, just like- Dude, not, I feel that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not even for like, the monetization specifically, but I was just like, I like, like, I don't like how my channel is growing right now. I want to start a new one and just see the numbers grow. Like it just mm -hmm. like, I just like seeing it, you know what I mean? So I started that, it's doing really well. And uh, I don't know, I see the potential. Cause like you can make a lot of money doing YouTube, right? Like doing cannabis For content, sure. whatever, or cannabis content specifically because, uh, but the, the budgets are kind of limited, you know what I mean? Then mm -hmm. you would go into like the car world and then you're like, oh shit, now you're playing with some big players. Yeah. Now I can get like the VPN's fucking sponsorships. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, oh shit, no, it's like a it's whole a, game it's changer different. now. Yeah, for sure. So I'm like, oh, this is like a whole new something. And obviously they're gonna keep wanting to see the same car and I'm gonna probably mm -hmm. get tired of the same car. And now that I have like the resources and a reason to get a new car, I feel like I'll cycle through yeah. them like once every year, once every two years or something like that. Okay. So it's gonna be cool. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. I've had this Dude. one for six, seven months and it's probably got like, you know, the, you know, year around it, I'd say. Okay. Of having fun with it, growing the channel out. And then hopefully, you know, we're at a good amount of subs and I'm like, hey guys, I got a new car. Okay. Yeah, What's your, do you have a dream car? I do have a dream car. It's um, a Ferrari F12. Ooh. Yeah. It's so, okay. It's so nice, dude. It's so nice. It's uh, a 12. It's a V12. It's their only V12 that they make. And it's the only engine that they make in the front. It's cool mm -hmm. to have your engine in the back and everything. But like, this car is sick. This okay. car is sick. Okay. So yeah, they always come out with a new iteration. Like every year, that's what it is mm -hmm. right now. Um, and it's, it's, I'm excited. Hopefully, I can get one in the next like five years six years no five. dude the next year oh you got it <laughs> oh shit the next car i get mm -hmm. we got to take steps though we got to take steps i got to get one car in between at least we'll Why? say two three what if you but like okay so you do your <laughs> nft collection right? oh shit and yeah i'm just, <laughs> I'm just swimming in it in a year shit you're right i you're i right. believe in it i believe in you look yeah. we'll come back I'll hit you up in here. I'll set like an alarm or something. Oh my goodness. Like, now I'm, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm motivated. What are you driving? No, now I'm 10 <laughs> times more motivated for sure. I'm there we go. And setting deadlines is how you do it for sure. Yeah, no, I think so. All right. Uh, what is in your bag right now? What are you smoking? Like, what is your top gear that you have to have Ooh, when you go out? Like, yeah. of course, you're El Blunto. Mm -hmm. I'm imagining that. Right, like, right. Automatic. I always carry one with you yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. what else is your must have? You're going to your friend's place. Yeah. You want uh, to impress them. No, <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. That's a, that's a, it's a big one right there. Uh, I recently came up upon my homie. His name's Chris and he goes by Swank Genetics. Okay. And his shit is fire. So he crosses it all himself in house and he grows it all himself and everything. He's got a little team. Um, but it's really like small batch indoor grown with love out of Vegas. Yeah. And um, he's the homie for sure. And his shit is crazy. He's okay. got like his own strength, like swank number one, number two, which is like a runt's cross. And then um, like a nut dude. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's insane. So that's the flower that for sure I've been rocking with for a little bit. And then rosin or like a concentrate if I'm going to bring him with me. I feel like a, a handy one's always 710. Like, I always have mm -hmm. some on me, you know what I mean? Yeah. 710's a classic for sure. I would or agree. Or some, some cured, my homie. Yeah, cured extracts make some really cool stuff. He's actually from Texas, too. He from, we're from the same town, which I didn't even know. Oh, and shit. Then we, uh, That's cool. Yeah, we linked up and smoked later. Um, and he was like, yeah, I'm from San Antonio, blah, blah, I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Like, you're from San Antonio, and you're also here, and then you're, like, pressing hash. And yeah. I'm like, and I'm like, yeah, I'm here smoking weed. Like, let's go. Like, that's awesome. So just some Texas people doing it, you know, shout out Cured Extracts. And the craziest rosin I've ever seen. Okay, dope. That sounds, <laughs> that sounds super sick. Yeah, those are the two. Don't, do you have a, a little lineup that you run with? <sighs> Or is it like a variety? I kind of like a variety. I do. I'm, dude, I'm a variety. With something different, you know. I have a favorite thing all yeah. the time. It, you know, people. That's like the beauty so of it. There's so many different things. That's like the beauty of it. Like, and I'm like, this is really good. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh sure. shit, this. I follow my nose wherever it goes. Mm -hmm. That's my rule. And so, um, like with the Terps flower that I've been talking about, that's been really good. Seven Ten Labs, yeah, that's always great for dabs. 
Uh, I've been liking this living soil mm. stuff. Yeah. Um, Josh Wax, he's been at this dispensary up in Woodland Hills. Yeah. He's like a solid dude. He had yeah. cute dogs. <laughs> you have a dog, so I you could bring dog. your dog. Yeah. Oh my God, I love dogs. I don't know how I... I, I <laughs> your page, honestly, I kind of just follow it for your dog now. Dude, I'm not I understand. I get that so many. I get that so many times. It's like, bro, when are you going to post Kento? <laughs> I'm like, all right, all right. I'll post some next story, bro. Don't worry about How it. How much did that, like, did that boozy engage? It's a lot. People love the dog, bro. Or the dog in, like, funny places. Or, like, a funny yeah. picture of him. Yeah. It's hilarious. I like the accessories you, you give him occasionally. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got some cool weed toys and stuff. No, that's super dope. <laughs> all right, dude. I'm going to uh, start to close this out. Why Absolutely. don't you tell everyone how to find you? Uh, you can find me, uh, I guess I'm always getting deleted, man. I feel like it'll be different. Uh, Eric Khan on YouTube I feel like is for at this sure. Point the easiest just Google one. You. Yeah, for sure. You <laughs> just find the first one. But Eric Khan on YouTube, uh, more Eric Khan's the second channel, and Eric Khan.ig is the Instagram. Awesome. For now, hopefully, forever. I'm we'll really, ah, oh, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm, <laughs> I'm super stoked. I'm also super stoned. Same. Um, same. That was a very solid smoking experience. Thanks for coming on today. Thank you so much for having me. I always love doing these little things. Just a conversation's cool, you know? Not even for like, I guess most people do it for like, oh, not most. Some people do it for press, you know? Or like, I'm coming out with this new thing. But Mm -hmm. I just like smoking, chilling with people, you know? Same. (laughs) Yeah, it's chill. And dude, that's all the stuff you have coming up. I'm super stoked for you. Like, that's huge. I need some of that flour. Got you. Oh, my- oh, we got you. <laughs> we will hook you up. If it's that good, I would. I'm a flavor tester. Yeah, hundred percent. So, I got you. It's I, uh, it's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Dope, know. dude. All right, thanks everyone for joining. I will see you all next episode. Bye. Thank you.